Now, one of the most important things to understand when converting to black and white is basically what information is resident in the color channels. You have a red, a green, and a blue channel. Now, besides the color, regardless of the color, there's other information in those channels. In the red channel, if you notice that the lights and darks are very strong here, that's because in the red channel, you also have all the contrast information for that image. The green channel, one of the reasons that all these nice little drops of water and the little veins and the petals are so clear is because the detail information of that image is resident in the green channel. When you look at the blue channel, it looks really murky and a lot of grain. That's because all the garbage is in the blue channel. All your film grain, dust and scratches, all that stuff is in there. Understanding that basic uh, function of each channel is going to help you in retouching. Like for instance, getting rid of film grain. You go in there and use the speckle. If you apply it to the whole image, it gets a little fuzzy. But if you apply it only to the blue channel, you will eliminate film grain, but the image will stay sharp because the sharpness information is in the other two channels. Keeping that in mind, this is where you will go in there and create a good grayscale. A push button that most people use to go with the mode and say grayscale. Discard color information, okay, do it. But what happens then is you get this image here that's basically kind of bland. So you have to go into something like levels and start to play around with it to make it look a little richer and so on. But the problem is that you've taken a percentage of each of those channels. So, a best way to do it, and let me just go back into history and bring us back to where we were. Best way to do it is to take only the information you want, only the contrast and the detail information. So you can go to Channel Mixer, or what I prefer is to go into Calculations. So in Calculations, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take the green channel, which has the detail, the red channel, which has the contrast, and depending on the image, because this isn't a formula, different modes, different opacity settings. So I'm going to set the opacity for this particular image to about 85% of the green over the red in multiply mode. You see how rich all the details are? That's a richness that you would have to go through levels to get the other way. And even then, you wouldn't get such a rich image. You'd start to destroy a lot of the elements in the image and get them fuzzy and increase the chances of of uh, banding and all kinds of other artifacts that would destroy the image. Whereas here, we're actually seeing in preview what we're getting. And we, when we have what we want, we can send the information to a new document. You click OK, and there's our new black and white image, which looks really good. Doesn't need to be um, done in any, fixed in any way. And all I have to do at that point is now go to mode, say grayscale, because it's a multi-channel, which other programs won't see. And that's it.